Oh, welcome back everyone, this is Roaring Hamster and this is Endless Legend, episode 5 I think. So let's continue on. We're building some stuff in our two cities. We will get more cities in the future. And we're getting some experience with our um, hero here. We want to get him the ranged promotion. Uh, you know, I was thinking, maybe I should get... Uh, some orcs or something so that I can assimilate them and build them in my empire but then they're not my species and these guys sort of need to have their own species because in winter these guys turn dark and they still keep their movement and such they're, they're very interesting auto combat again in a defensive way perfect if you have a ranged unit and they do not it's always better to fight defensively and let's parlay with the Arises here. Colonize the region Amael. Or Amel. Depending on where, whether you want to read it uh, Latin way or not. Uh, Onis. Oh, so Amel is right here. This is Amel. That's it. That's all I need to do. Man. I don't even know. It's. Popping out settlers and stuff is. Uh, generally a good move in civilization for example but I don't know I don't know right here if it's a good move I definitely get three villages here or is that two no it's two so it's like starting off with three population it's pretty useful the skyfin is level three because he keeps getting XP from sucking on that node a new empire plan will be unlocked in six turns huh let's see what we can get uh, all right, so we definitely want something like this next time. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Or maybe even if we get 160, maybe like this. Well, let's uh, calculate, shall we? Plus 7. We need uh, 160. So uh, 7 times 6, that's 42. To, that's is that exactly as much as we need? I, th I think it is. Yeah. Well, if nothing goes wrong, then we should have exactly 160. And in that case, I think we're gonna get this and this. I think like so. I think gold uh, is more important than science right now. We'll see. So these guys will be pacified once I colonize this region, but until then they'll just keep spawning uh, dudes, dude bros. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff to explore. There's some demons, demons, demons. I wonder where does it say uh, the turn? Oh, right here, turn 55. So we're on turn 55, it's still pretty early into the game. In civilization you would be Still in the ancient era or something on turn 55. Alright. Let's show these guys who's boss. Defensive auto. Awesome. Get uh, level 3 on these guys. That's good. And let's talk to these guys. More XP. Let's see what do these guys whether or not you believe that war is a useful pursuit, you may be up against those who are convinced of it. Mm -hmm. To get this minor faction's respect, you must show them how you develop, deploy and instruct your troops. For five turns, ensure that you have a unit of at least four of the five existing unit classes in your empire. Ah, screw you guys. I'm trying to not play military style here. Well. Wow, that's pretty. Golden tree. Yeah. Wow, that is so pretty. And that's just 20 approval. Never mind the, the gold and stuff. That's really nice. Yep, explore more. Valiant L Oh, wow. Wait, so can we get this on our hero right now? Yeah. 
Yeah, we can just get Valiant Lightning. As opposed to what? This 9 uh, attack and 1 damage, and this is 36 attack, 2 damage. No, that's uh. That's initiative, not damage. So 36 attack, 2 initiative, 18 damage. 60% attack on this unit, 10% initiative on unit, and 30% damage on unit. Can only be equipped by heroes. Makes sense. And this one. Mm -hmm. and this one gives sharp sense, but I think we have something else that gives us sharp sense. Yeah. So equip both of these. Cannot. My set changes then? What about just this? Oh, I can change its equipment. I thought I could change and then uh, retrofit him, but I guess it doesn't work like that. Alright. Well, we'll get that, definitely, when we get back to our territory. Which uh, we're gonna start heading back towards. I'm gonna go like this, get these. Maybe go this way. Yeah. We're not gonna go there. There's no point for now. Alright, the Gorn. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely interesting. So, three turns until we get that thing. I think that's approval. And this was what? Ah, this was influence. Good, good. I think we got skunked here for one turn. Did we? No, I don't think six turns passed, so I think we're fine. Empire plan in four turns. Oh, actually, no, I think we need 160. So in four turns, we're gonna get uh, seven times four. Okay, which, which is, again, exactly as much as we need. I'm just worried, because I, I, wanna, I wanna get that, and I should put some people to it if I don't. Okay. Mm. Too much foolishness, foolishness. Are they actually attacking me or are they just declaring war because they're fools? My army is pretty far. I'll give them that. If I lost that city though, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I would prefer not to. I'll get the pearls. Yeah, I will start heading back towards my own territory. Getting war declarations and such. Bad for business. These guys want to fight? Apparently they do. And now they're dead. Yep. Alright, what do we do now? Do we go to defend here? I think that's what we do, yeah. Alright. Okay, we got glory of empire. Whoa, what's this? Are we uh, fervent across the empire? Is that why we got this? So Oregon is this. We must grow in power and wealth so that we can do what she requires of us. Faith alone is not enough. We must believe in our cause, but also have the power to impose our will. Yeah, yeah, apparently I did. I got 15 titanium for it. Produce 9 influence in one of your cities for 10 turns. Oh boy. In which city would I be able to produce that? Definitely in this one at this point. Yeah, I think this is good, right? right as it is. Nice. So what do we build now? Central market? Yeah, get that uh, approval to 90. That will be nice. Okay, and here we got tons of approval, right? Nice, nice. So 30%, 30% and 40 security. That's really, really good. So this gauge represents the risk of a spy to be safe wounded 
Injure or captured if the hero performs an infiltration action. The risk depends on the security level of the infiltrator scene. Okay. No, we don't have... It's interesting that we are fervent. Well, it's past 90%, I guess. Oh, what is this? Ah, right, right, right. Okay, well, I don't need that. Very interesting, but I don't need it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start moving. Actually, let's build a settler here first. Yeah, that's only seven turns. And how much will we need for a hero again? Well, they're getting more and more expensive, that's the problem. Okay. So we won't get these exclusive ones, but I think there are always <coughs> some exclusive heroes, aren't there? Not sure, we're gonna find out. And after this is done, I think I'm also going to get a settler in my capital. So, Imperial Highways are done. Well, the research, at least. We could get what? An assimilation slot. I think I will want that at some point. And since the hero has weapons, why don't we get for our uh, units, we get armor. Oh, this is also very good. But let's get armor first. We did just get uh, declared war upon. There we go. Yeah, clicking multiple times uh, does make them move a little bit faster. Okay. Well, the good part of this is um, that if they attack us, gonna be much harder for them in winter so what's this wealth harvester and he got 130 emeralds man that is harsh oh well so what can we get next mm -hmm. Plus one on city per, per pacified village does not apply to destroyed and converted villages. That seems pretty good, honestly. Unlocks armors made of pearls. I do have plenty, but... Mm. Can spend pearls to change form for the current turn. And this unlocks accessories made of pearls. I think I like this the most. Let's get this. Alright, so now we don't put anything in military because that was stupid. And even more? Actually, I don't know if I want this anymore. Building buyout? That's not that important. Wow, that's good though. Like this? So I need economy, either way. But building production cost reduction. Yeah, I want that. That should complete that quest on the next turn. Alright. Now we move a little bit less because we have centaurs in our army. Oh, actually. Let us change his equipment now, since we can do it. So you get the shield and this. Now that looks much better. Oh, what else? Do you have any extra accessories? Tier 1. What if, what if we get tier 2 here? So that will cost us 24 gold. That's fine. That's fine for now. I don't want to spend too much gold because I want to... Uh, I want to keep... Uh, the gold for recruiting another hero. So this is fine for now. His, uh, what are these? Accessories are important and his weapon is very important, right? Because he shoots. But other than that, uh, he's fine because he's ranged. So he shouldn't need armor. Problem is winter always uh, comes with less production of gold. There we go. Uh, 
Actions speak loudly, and yours have convinced the tribe that you are indeed an ally worth keeping. Okay. And Karandar. Where was Karandar? Right here. Yeah, we want to colonize everything here, obviously. This is, this is my territory. So it would seem that pearls appear in winter. I think that's how it works. Oh, look. It's mine enemies. And we got another level up. So... There we have it. Plus one range. So it says range three. Um, I think he also gets range four, but maybe it's just for the army. So maybe it's not that good for now. But it doesn't matter. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. It will be useful. I do want ranged units. I think ranged units are extremely useful in this game. Alright, so we got that, and we said we're gonna get a settler next. Two settlers. I want two settlers. Okay. Do I wanna put more into production? No, I think it's fine. Oh, well, is it? I'm gonna keep losing gold. I think it's fine for now. The winter will only last five more turns. So. I think we got a tad lucky there. Kill these guys that are just ro roaming around. I don't want them here. Offensive fight. Okay. Well, since you made the mistake of declaring war on me, I'm going to destroy your villages. Pillage, burn, and rape. But not in that order. Or maybe in that order. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, give me those pearls. That was 11 pearls, huh? Good, good. I think I want to go this way, actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's in turn. <laughs> There's nothing more we can do. Well, not much more at the, at the very least. So the settlers are going to come out at the same time. I don't know where I'm going to send them exactly. These are not pacified here. I think I'm going to send this one here. I don't remember which ones are pass. I think both of these are pacified. And then there was one, um, Amel. Yeah. I think I'm gonna send one from the capital to Amel. Maybe the first one. Okay. Rape and pillage. Yeah, attack. And we still have very good odds of winning. Right here. Defensive fight. Okay. We lost almost nothing, basically. Well, actually, I don't think we did lose anything. So, yeah. We are so much better than they are in winter. So, it was their mistake to attack us. Now they're gonna pay. Obviously, attacking their city will not work. Uh, they get this much health for each unit, I think. Because of the fortifications. Which is not impossible to break through. Uh, I think you can siege the city, actually. And this will slowly go down and it forces them to attack you. I think that's how it works. I like how it kind of works in the game. But yep, attack this one too. Hmm. I still want to auto this. Again, defensive. Yeah, but I think after this one... Wow, 31 XP. We're gonna start to scoot slowly. We do have less regen uh, because of winter. I think that was the effect. Right? Yeah. That was the effect. Let's see what the next one is. Maybe we'll want to spend pearls to change it. Alright, we got our chemical armor for our guys. And I think we're gonna go for the... Oh God, I have this. The assimilation slot. And how much until next era? Three more, I think? Yeah, I think that's three more. Alright, so we can't get either of these, but we did get this. So let's see what these are, shall we? This is another... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is another world wonder. We might want to build it. 
led by a hero. I guess they never had a hero, did they? An item. Get an item that gives us a free counter. Okay. Or oh, Master's Markets. Be the first to have a city's total income from primary trade routes of at least 20 dust in order to gain the reward. That means we need to get improvements, uh, we, we need to get roads and we need to build a right of way. Which will happen. Let's see. Can we do this as well? Yes, we can. Pretty sure. They actually retreated, huh? That's fine. Maybe I'm getting a little bit greedy, but I don't want him to have any army close to me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to change that. I definitely want to change that. So, click the button to pray to Auriga and increase the odds that this effect will be applied during the next winter. Oh. <laughs> but how does that work? Do we also get... <laughs> it's interesting. So the longer you wait, the more... Fine, let's do it. Increase... Oh, that just increases the odds. Okay. Keep fighting them. They won't be able to retreat forever. My seekers are still strong enough to handle them, so that's not a biggie. Okay, let's keep my army here for now. And yeah, I'm just uh, I'm still waiting for those settlers to come out, basically. Two settlers. Ooh, that is so pretty, man! I love the art in this game. Holy crap! Okay, <laughs> leader of leaders. I guess we can see these here. Oh. Be the first to have at least 30 units at the same time. That's a lot of units. I have five apparently. That's a lot of costs as well. Market alchemist. Be the first to produce an amount of 4,000 dust at the end of turn in order to gain the reward. Oh, I think I like that. And we get... Uh, 80 adamantian? Uh, that's not that much, actually. And pragmatic scientist. Be the first to build this legendary thing. So research cost reduction in past eras. Oh, so we can research some of the things. That might be useful. And also plus 25 per level on alchemic institute. We need resources to build this, though. Okay. And these. Okay. I wonder if these guys are scared of us yet. Let's see. Leary, huh? So if we uh, propose the truce, would that be interesting? So they really hate our guts, basically. That's That's what this means. Uh, worried. Why are you worried? Weakness of its army. I don't see how that's my problem, bro. It's your problem. Indifferent? Okay. Indifferent. That's good. That's good. Maybe they're paying attention to each other. That's why they're not paying attention to me. Huh? Well, if they're worried, maybe we should... Uh... Let's just compliment them. Let's... Let's, uh, let's be the first to... Give them an outstretched hand. Okay. Maybe I want to research the thing where we can propose alliances. I would like to be uh, allied with the dragons. For uh, they're, they're, they seem to generally favor alliances. Okay, bros, you are dead. Yeah, there is no retreat, and your village is next, obviously. I'm gonna let you just take these. I know they give you influence. Don't think I don't know. Alright. Uh, the settler's almost out. 
Yeah, the settlers are out, so uh, we're gonna colonize on our next turn. Let's end this episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you next episode. Roar.